Look at what you did to me! It's Barbara Wednesday, went out without telling me! I'm so sorry, Gus, but wait I, till I we... couldn't cross the barbers off my list, so it gave me an unscheduled 43 minutes! I'm sorry. It would have been 16, but I wasted 17 waiting for you, so I scheduled piano practice. <laughs> Break Beethoven. Oh, that's awful. I'm so. And you went there to help me fix him. Here I go. Uh, and it ruined my lunch. Yes. Uh, and Gina got cross because I wouldn't let her take it off because I wanted you to do it. Gus, I've just been to see a couple. We want to foster you. No. Gus, at least consider it. I'm sorry. What for? For whatever I've done that's making you try to get rid of me. <laughs> I'm not trying to get rid of you. This is something that your social worker started planning when your dad moved to Germany. She's supposed to talk to me about things like that. Yes, but she wanted to get the right couple first. And I think she has. So I said I'd talk to you because I know you so much better than she does. You don't know me very well if you think I'd want to leave. Why don't you talk to Ronnie and Don and then decide, huh? Because I've already decided. Well, you might change your mind if you met them. Why are meeting them make any difference? I don't want to be fostered. You might if you like them. Not enough to want to be fostered. You can't know that until you've met them. Yes, I can. You okay? I can't get Mike to understand that I won't meet the foster parents. You're getting fostered? No. Mike and my social worker think I should. How come they chose you? Because my dad moved to Germany. I'll have them if you don't want them. The system doesn't work like that. I know, but you could pretend you wanted to meet them and then I could accidentally meet them instead. I won't do it. Why not? Because the system doesn't work like that. Well, go on, just to help a mate. You're not my mate. All right, maybe I'm not. But we both care, kids, and you shouldn't waste foster parents. Would it kill you? To do the right thing and help him out. Tyler! Tyler so, um, what's he gonna do? I'm not forcing to meet them if he doesn't want to. That'd be cruel. Oh, what? More cruel than keeping a boy like Gus here until the system decides he's old enough to fend for himself? Gus! Perfect timing. Why? Because I wanted to talk to you about fostering. And I need to talk to you about how you know when you're doing the right thing. Oh, why? Is that because you've got a feeling you might be doing the wrong thing? Look, we can take this whole fostering issue as slowly as you like. You're having second thoughts, aren't you? I'm still on my first thought, which is no. What can I do for you, Faith? Just wondered if you signed the NOSCC permission slip for my half marathon? Yes, yes, I have. Hang on. Hang on. It's here somewhere. There you go. I'll sponsor you when the page is set up. Thanks. You shouldn't turn down this opportunity, Gus. I'm not talking to you about this. I'm talking to Mike. All right, Gus. She's only trying to help. Do you still want to be a forensic scientist? Yes. So I think that you'd find it easier to achieve that if you were living in a family situation. Why? Well, because you'd get to know a lot more about living in the real world, which eventually would help you cope when you go to university. I don't need foster parents for that. You always explain things to me when I don't understand them. Yeah, but, G Gus, I'm... And how do you know? I heard him and Mike talking about it just now. What kind of foster parents would want someone like Gus? That's a bit harsh. What, so you don't think he's weird? No more sticking to a Gus timetable. I could have a bath at 6.30. I could play piano after breakfast. Is he definitely going? No, Tyler wants to meet them instead. The system doesn't work like that. That's what I told him. Um, I'm sorry I shouted at you. I've been thinking about what you said. And? I can't lie to Mike. But you're not lying. You do want to meet them, so they can meet Tyler. Well, even if they came, it would be a waste of time. No, it wouldn't. Tyler's fun. It'd be loads more interesting to foster than Gus. It doesn't matter what Tyler's like. We're in care. There's no such thing as a happy ending. Why are you so desperate to get fostered? Because 
I've always wondered what it'd be like to live in a proper family. And if there's a couple that want a boy like you, then they might be able to settle for a boy like me. Come on. Come on. thinking I was asleep Gus but you're awake now Mike yeah what can I do for you invite the foster parents I've decided to meet them what was the look you were going for one that says this boy can be fun but he can be serious too I think you might be missing some of the fun part I'm listening well, how about some of these? There you go. Look, Tyler, don't get your hopes up. Remember that they've come to see girls. You're in a dog's home and you're looking for a puppy. You can't get the one you thought you wanted, so you're bound to buy another one, aren't you? Smile. Hey, come on, you guys. Go. We're not here to see you. Mike! Hey, hey, go, Scoot, go. In the other room, give Gus some privacy. Go, go, go. Gus! Gus, what's going in? Nice to see you again. And uh, you've met Gina? Yeah, that's And this is Gus. Gus, this is Ronnie. Hello, <laughs> lovely to meet you. And um, this is my partner, Dawn. Hello. You're early. Three minutes and 30 seconds. She wouldn't let us wait in the car. <laughs> shall we, uh, shall we go through? <laughs> Johnny, did you see them? Yeah, what are they like? Let's just say Tyler's going to wish he had never asked us to bring them here. Why? It's two women. They're gay. What's wrong with that? Well, everything. They're not proper parents. Johnny, that's a horrible thing to say. I agree with him. Lily? What? I'm not being anti-gay. I'm just saying all kids need a dad. That's funny because you managed to survive without one for years. Yeah, I got mine back and I liked it a whole lot better, thank you. See? Lily agrees with me and she should know. Are you a fussy eater? Do you count not liking fish with bones as fussy? No. Then no. But I need to tell and you... And do you take baths or showers? Baths at 6.30pm. But I really need to tell... And do you prefer... I think Gus has something that he'd like to say. But I haven't finished our questions yet. Your questions? Well, one of us needs to be organised. What is it, Gus? My answers to your questions don't matter. I brought you here to meet Tyler, one of the other boys. What? So you don't want to be fostered? No, thank you. We, we didn't. Tea, everyone. We're leaving. I'm, I'm really sorry about this, OK? Because I'm... Dawn, wait. What for? Gus doesn't want to be fostered. Tyler does. Have him instead. We don't want Tyler. We wanted you. You don't want us. There's no point in continuing. I made such a lovely tea. I'm sorry to waste it. That's OK, yeah? Um, well... There. Now only our time has been wasted. I'll, um, sh show you... What happened, Gus, huh? Did you get them here just for Tyler? I don't want to talk about it! Am I meeting them now? They've gone. Why? Because I didn't want to get fostered and they didn't want to foster you. They never even met me. You had a lucky escape. Couldn't believe it when I saw they were gay. Why does that matter? Because it shouldn't be allowed. Oh, that's disgusting. Why? It's not normal. Some people think I'm not normal. I don't think I shouldn't be allowed. Of course not, you're different. He's not exactly normal, is he? I am. Leave it, Electra. No, I'm sorry, you're completely out of order. I'm not. Come on, Tyler, you wouldn't want two mums, would you? Of course I would. It'd be so cool. Well, I don't care what he says. Kids need a mum and a dad. Oh, 
Yes, because that worked so well for you, didn't it? Your mum got a lovely new dad and let him do whatever he wanted and then stuck you in care. It wasn't like that. Well, then why are you here? That's enough. I love it. A bunch of care kids arguing about what's normal. As if we'd ever know. <coughs> Oh, plan didn't work then? They never even met me. Never mind, mate. It was worth a shot. It's not fair. They weren't really coming to see you in the first place. I know! That's what you get so wound up about. I guess I thought if I had a new mum, then I'd forget the one who didn't want me. Johnny's right about living in care. There's no such thing as a happy ending. What are you on about? You've already got one. I'd rather live with my dumping ground family than my real family, any day. Looks like you stuck with us for a bit longer, mate. So just stay out of her way and stop winding her up. She bad mouthed our mum. That's only because you went off on one about gay fostering. I couldn't care less, gay or straight. What matters is having a mum who loves you, which neither of our straight mums do. Cross. I want to talk to you about Ronnie and Dawn. I want to talk to you about being normal. Ronnie and Dawn are perfectly normal. Never said they won't. It's just the lecture said that I'm not normal. I think we should meet them again. Round their house this time? No. Every time I think about getting fostered, it gives me tummy ache. That's because it's such a huge decision. Stop making me think about it and my tummy ache will go away. thinking. I was asleep, Gus. Be awake now, Mike. I've decided I'm normal. Congratulations. Ronnie and Don wouldn't want to foster someone who wasn't normal, so I must be, mustn't I? Yeah, but not if you keep waking me up at two o'clock in the morning. Are you just saying that so I'll stop waking you up in the middle of the night? Yes. No, no, wait. Have you been thinking about Ronnie and Don? Uh, Tommy Hick? You know, I wouldn't suggest anything that wasn't right for you, Gus. Do you trust me enough to visit Ronnie and Dawn? Yes. Can I use the computer? I've got another ten minutes. But that only gives me 15 minutes to plan my Ronnie and Dawn visit schedule before I have to get changed. You going over there, then? Yes. And I need to see how long it takes. What made you change your mind? Because I trust Mike. And check the traffic. Don't let him force you into anything. Leave him alone. He's made up his mind. Big mistake. What did you say? I said... Not again. Gus is making a big mistake. Stop trying to put him off. No. Keke shouldn't be allowed to live with gay couples. That's like saying I shouldn't be allowed in here because I'm black. No, it isn't. All about prejudice, Johnny. She's right. Deciding that you hate all gay people when you don't know any. I don't hate gays. I don't. People are already down on us because we live in care. What are they going to think about him when they find out he's living with lesbians? You're so ignorant, Johnny! Just leave him alone! Look, Goss is supposed to be your friend. Why can't you just be happy that someone's offering him in a family? Well, I am, but... Shut up! I'm so ashamed of you, I wish you weren't my brother. I've just done my just-in-case. You have to leave now to get there for 11 o'clock. You look posh. You don't. You said this was a big deal. Do you want to borrow a tie? I'm not wearing a tie, Gus. I know. That's why you should borrow one of mine. Have you scheduled for going back upstairs to get a tie? No. I think we better just leave then. How many toilets have they got? They'll have at least one. What if I need to go and someone's in there? To wait. What if I can? Cross your legs. What if they offer me food I don't like? You politely say no, thank you. Can I use the computer? And what if I haven't realised I'm sitting in... Yes. Mike? We're here. That was quick. Not from where I'm sitting. I like your tie. Mike wouldn't wear one. Well, it wouldn't have gone with his outfit, but it worked with yours. Shall we sit down? Good idea. 
There's a toilet through there. If you're worried about us hearing you, use the one upstairs. Well, that's the first of his questions crossed off his list. Can we get you anything to drink? Tea, coffee, apple juice, milk, water from the tap. Coffee, white, one sugar, please. We're so happy Gus agreed to come over. If you had anything to do with changing his mind, thank you. You may not thank me when he starts on his list of questions. <laughs> And would I be allowed to play a piano? As long as I'm not playing it. Dawn won't play duets. Neither will I. I practice after breakfast and sometimes in the afternoon. I practice after work. Would we have quiche on Fridays? Yes. I think that's enough questions for now. But I still have 43 left. We have to get back for lunch. Would you like to look around the house before you go? Yes, please. Wait. Do you think that means he's interested? We'll see. Go away. It's me. Feeling bad? What do you think? Good. Now you know how gay people feel when people start mouthing off without knowing anything about it. Look, if you're going to hit me, just get on with it. Thought I'd feed you up first. Make the fight a bit more exciting. Sorry. What? That everyone hates me? No, that tea laid into you like that. Although, you did ask for it. Didn't ask for this, so did I? Didn't ask to get a dumped here. Nobody wants me. Am I really that bad? Of course you're not. It's just not your turn. So don't let it get to you. Otherwise, they'll have won. Who? Whoever put you in care. My mum had a Virginia Creep brother. So, do you think you'd like to live with us? My bedroom's not right. Well, we could fix it so it was. How often do you fight? Of course. We're very happy together. We're not going to split up if that's what's worrying you. It's not. I like the quiet in here. Everyone's always fighting in Elm Tree House, especially since they found out you're gay. Sorry about that. <laughs> He's just being honest. We know what people are like. Do you want to show me what you change in the bedroom? So you could have a word. Maybe later. Please. What? Well, it's private. Oh, Johnny, just leave it. I really don't want to talk to you right now. I was trying to say sorry. Is that to Gus? For letting him down? Or for running Dawn for insulting them? Come on, lad. Don't drive yourself mad, Gus. You don't have to decide straight away. I'm not driving myself mad. I'm trying to decide what to decide. Oh, that black Hey, bike, how did it go? I need lunch. What was their house like? Going to live with them then? Go, eh, put you there. What are you going to do then? I think you should stay here. You should go. Guys, back off, you're not helping. You're making my head hurt. So it didn't work out, huh? Actually, it went really well, which is probably why he's in a bit of a state. I'm not talking. It's Faith. I want to ask you something. What? Do you really want to be a forensic scientist? Yes. It's hard work qualifying. I know. You like planning ahead, don't you? Did you ever plan the fact that there are 11 of us? Or 12, if you count Lily? What's that got to do with me selling forensic science? 12 of us to one Mike and Gina. That means you only ever get roughly 17% of their focus and encouragement. But on your own, with two foster parents... I get 200% of their focus and encouragement. Giving you a 200% higher chance of academic success. 183% actually, because I would have gotten... Gus! Do you understand what I'm trying to say? No. Oh. Thank you, lovely. Yes. Thank you. I'm going to be a forensic scientist, so I'm going to live with Ronnie and Dom. 
Good luck. Good luck. Why don't you uh, try for a weekend first, eh? I've made up my mind. Faith helped me. Thanks, Faith. Now I just want to go. Gus, I wanted to say well done on getting fostered. Thought you didn't like lesbian parents. I was wrong. I really hope this goes well for you. What's not going to? How do I pack all this up so I know where it is? How do I unpack it when I can't plan where to put it? You're being too hard on him. Uh, I'm not the one that pushed him over. You're not the one that's listening to what he's saying either. Right, because you are. Yes. If you listen to what he said, you'd realise that it's not about Gus and gay fostering. It's about Johnny feeling unwanted. And you're really not making it any better. Me and Lily will bake the cake. Yeah, and we should have some music. Hey, uh, but, uh, bye. We shouldn't throw us a party. Why yeah, should we throw him a party? Yeah, He's leaving. Yeah, Don't bad. jump down his throat. He hasn't said anything yet. You shouldn't throw us a party because you wouldn't want one. Well, what would he want? This time tomorrow, you'll be brushing your teeth in a new bathroom. I'm glad you didn't waste one on Dawn, but it's going to be weird without you here. Especially for Mike. Sleep. Why aren't you? Because I need to tell you that I'm not leaving. Goss. Why? Ronnie and Don have each other. You don't have anyone. What's wrong? Hey, Theo. Tracy used to get that. Yeah. Maybe I caught it from her. You can't catch hay fever. Do you miss her? Yeah, all the time. But she had to move on, make more of her life, just like you. So you think I should leave? Yeah, I do think you should leave. I think it would make the world a difference for you. You're very good at explaining things. I'm going to miss that. Good night. For the last time, Michael Milligan. Good night, for the last time, Gus Carmichael. Nice and gentle. Here's the plan, so you know where everything goes. This will really help us get this room right, thank you. Uh, we all got you this. Everyone chipped in. Thank you. You can go inside now. Gosh, there's too many people to say goodbye to. All right, guys, you say your goodbyes and then Mike can wave them off, yeah? Come on. Go on. Goodbye, Gus, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's 
going to be fine. See guys, it won't be the same line. We'll wait in the van. must have an ability to work closely with children's families and others important. Important to the child. We know the rules, Gus. We'd never stop you seeing Mike. See you soon, kid. said it by now, or else he'll be giving him such a hard time. <laughs> Do you realise that we no longer have to eat Gus's manky Friday quiche? Yeah. Or Tuesday macaroni. What if Don and Ronnie don't have quiche at their house? Oh gosh, <laughs> I, It's okay, I gave them one to take home. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want those poor women to have to go through the Gus experience on the first day. <laughs> Gus was the most annoying boy ever. Won't be the same without him. No, it won't. You gave him a brilliant send-off. He's lucky to have you as a friend, and I'm lucky that you're my brother. We made you this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Crazy fools. <laughs> Lads, you're all the best. Thank you so much. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Why do you suddenly want to go bowling? It's what we do when we need to cheer it up. Come on, let's go bowling! Yeah. 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 Yeah.